Hi, welcome to Dentist Vlogs Dentistry. I'm Dr. Matthew Hoshi here. You might know that the reason why patients go to a, a, a dentist mostly is for pain relief. But the same patients are afraid to go to dentist because of the fear of pain, that is the pain of injection. Today, I am very much excited to present before you a unique anesthesia delivery system, which is an intra osseous anesthesia delivery system. With this system, I am sure the fear of pain would be a thing of the past. And to present the system before us, we have Dr. Rupesh with us. Dr. Rupesh is a specialist oral pathologist and he will be presenting us the system and we'll do an unboxing of the system together. Welcome Dr. Rupesh. Thank you so much doctor for having me here and uh, welcome to the Quick Sleeper family. Thank you. First of all, I would want to ask you, why did you choose to adapt a newer technology of local anesthesia? Ah, that's a very relevant question. In fact, I have loved nerve blocks. Many a times I've had situations wherein uh, it was not anesthetized properly and patient uh, was having pain and it was quite embarrassing when patient is in pain we can't do anything much so at that time i thought had there been anything better uh, by which we can give painless injection and the patient would be pain free it would have been great and right at that time you approached and uh, that's how I got into the Kuxipa family. So wonderful. The major concern that you just cited in terms of the nerve block, its failure and maybe pain while delivering it is one of the major concerns that are actually present amongst most of the dentists. Well, it's not going to be happening with every patient, but sometimes patients may come with variations in their anatomy. Correct. Uh, you know, so what happens is sometimes when you deliver the anesthesia, there might be certain failures or the patient may experience pain correct, out of correct. 10 at least one minimum will be going through the same correct, thing correct. but the failure rate for inferior alveolar uh, nerve blocks are comparatively higher mm -hmm. so what happens is 23 years ago the dental high tech released the first generation of quick sleeper 5 mm -hmm. and 23 years ahead a lot of refinements as uh, you know you can see it and they have brought about the fifth generation of quick sleeper intraosseous anesthesia oh, okay. So uh, again, I just want to break there to all those who are watching here. Uh, now what we are having is the fifth generation, okay? They started 23 years ago and this is the fifth generation. So which means that it's not something new and they have worked on it and we have the latest one here. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, doctor, this device is special for two reasons. Mm -hmm. As it's written on the box, it's an electronic system for intra anesthesia, which means it is an electronically uh, you know electronically functioning device mm -hmm. and second of all the technique itself is totally different mm -hmm. so it's electronic as well as your mode of giving anesthesia is intra uh -huh. and in depth for that we will probably go on to the next session after our unboxing okay right. so since it's intra uh, unlike uh, in the inferior alveolar nerve blocks we are not following the nerve we are following the bone right absolutely uh, the okay. anesthesia is going to be delivered inside the bone oh, yeah. to be more specific inside the or within the cancellous okay. bone. Oh, quite interesting. <laughs> All right. So let's open the box and see what's in it. All right, let's All go. Right. All right. All right, so let's unbox the quick sleeper. Before I do, this is the company that uh, has uh, launched the quick sleeper, the Dental High Tech, also called as DHT, and this is from France. Uh, this is the website from which you can access all details regarding the quick sleeper in terms of videos as well as uh, any other information that you require. Uh, this is also mentioned here electronic system for intraosseous anesthesia and as you can see this is the quick sleeper. On opening it you come across two manuals. One is the user guide and one is the protocol and workshop. Both of these manuals are going to be useful for the dentist as well as his assistants or any other technicians who are going to be handling the device. And here you can actually see everything from basics. You have everything in terms of the parts, how to handle it, the installation. All right. And the second manual is the protocol and workshop that actually deals with all what you need to know before using it in terms of the clinical version of it or the clinical viewpoints or how you can use it for your clinical practice. And this is what comes in with it. You have a set of accessories along with the quick sleeper anesthesia. So if I need to start off with the major one, the 
most important one is going to be the anesthesia device itself all right this is the quick sleeper intraosseous anesthesia before i explain the parts of it let me just keep it one by one aside this is the handpiece from which you will be delivering your anesthesia this is going to be the wireless batteryless foot pedal which controls the entire device This is a smart control box that actually does the major function of this device. This is a handpiece holder which you can attach to your chair. You have power adapters that come alongside with it. As it is electronic, it needs to be uh, used with a power supply. You have three rotary cart uh, cartridges or containers that come as a part of this device. This is where your carpools as well as your needles are going to be attached. You also have a plastic container for the same purpose and I will tell you why a little later the plastic container is also uh, as a part of this device. Well, for all the dentists, you actually have a training jaw which, on which you can practice your techniques and uh, you, know, you can do a lot of uh, learning on this itself before you start off onto a patient. And this is of high durable, durability. So it's not a uh, very uh, light or flimsy. You have a lubricant that is used for these same cartridges, the steel rotary cartridges that I had shown in earlier. You have certain, uh, you know, adhesive strips that you can actually use to attach, uh, you know, the handpiece uh, holder as well as even the control box onto the base of your chair if you are only going to be using it on one station. You have, uh, you know, you have a holder for the handle so that you can actually lift it with your leg without having to actually lift it with your hand manually. And the most important part of the quick sleeper anesthesia device is going to be the DHT needles that are supplied with it. All right, you have three category of needles, all of which will be explained a little later. But what you need to actually see is besides the needles, you have three different color variations. And these are the DHT needles. I hope all of you enjoyed the unboxing of Quick Sleeper. Now you might be wondering why we, didn't, we did not do the assembly and uh, the tutorial on how to use it. For that, you have to wait for just one week. Okay? Next week, in the next video, we'll show you the assembly and uh, we'll show you how to use it. Until then, goodbye.